there is no advanced restart button in this room hence i am using volume plus button and power button to boot into recovery this is a traditional method to boot into recovery as you can see once the poco logo appear you can remove the button finger on power button and you can continuously press the volume up button again you will receive a haptic feedback then you can remove both the fingers as you can see this is the latest twrp recovery 3.6.0 11 to surya the links for this are available in community section you need to check out community section for those links and go to wipe again and select your advanced wipe and select dalvik catch and data and swipe here to wipe it once that is done go to home section here select this and press this install and select the micro sd card and select the storage wherever you download a rom zip file flash firmware firmware is necessary guys if you follow my method you will never go into boot loop or you will never face hard brick or any type of problems if you follow my video hence flash the firmware don't comment or spam regarding the firmware as i show you follow that if you don't like my videos you can follow some other videos that's how it is i definitely follow the same method of flashing the firmware first go to first firmware as you can see 12.5.5.0 so even the rom included with firmware or not i don't care it i need to flash this firmware that's how it is important for any custom rom to be flashed like this only after firmware go to home section and again select here install and go to rom zip files and select here pixel experience surya 12.1 this is the latest build in the unofficial build what they did is they gave their own recovery as mandatory that's i really don't like it i don't know why they did that in an unofficial bit i again i flashed my this tw recovery through pc that's really bad they need not to do like that they not, need not to force that recovery into any particular rom i don't like it let's see with this particular build will they do the same or not let's see it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom as you can see this is the latest build available for poco x3 you can see here on the screen it takes a little bit of time as you can see the rom zip file has been flashed successfully it took more than actual time as actually it was taking three four minutes but now it took five minutes and again go to here wipe section and select here format data and type here yes and press this tick button done go to this home section again and select here reboot and select the system this is how simple if you follow the same steps and same recovery and same firmware and same rom zip file with this poco x you will never get any problems if you change anything in this video not shown then you will be in problem that i am not recommending to have that as you can see it booted into pixel experience latest to android 12.1 with android 12.1 with march security patch only it's still april 4th we don't get any april security patch and let's begin this video we will see the what all the benchmark results and what how is the bgmi is it improved from previous previous versions and uh, how is the battle of everything will be explained stay tuned till the end of the video and let's begin this video hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is sampath you are watching sampath sound effects youtube channel and this is the poco xc custom rom reviews just now seeing the flashing method now this is the pixel experience rom with android version 12.1 with march 5th 2022 latest security patch available and the kernel user here is 4.14.198 laum 91r1 you can read here 1107 100 smx 00 this is the latest kernel available with this particular rom and you can see here the build date also has been mentioned this is the latest available with fourth i mean first april build and i have been running the cpu throttling test from the last 10 minutes you can see here the maximum is 145 and average is 140 and minimum is 130 and there is no cpu thermaling i mean thermal throttling has been detected really good even the benchmark results are also very good i will show you and this is how the home screen will look and wallpapers and style and widgets and home settings has been given if you swipe like this and select it it gets as a default wallpaper it takes a little bit of time as you can see it applied as a default wallpaper if you swipe here and again select that i already shown this in unofficial build if you haven't watched it you can watch here or you can check out that video too and into the widgets you get plenty of widgets i already used that and coming into home settings you get all these basic settings that's working fine enough 
and coming to benchmark results first and to benchmark is as, as you can see 3 lakh 61 thousand 189 and temperature rise was just 1.9 degree celsius and two percentage of battery drop has been noticed during this and to benchmark testing that's really good the scores are really good and even the geek bench score here i am not seeing 560 or like that only that scores are seen in mui roms or even the mui mint edition as you can say single score is 511 and multi score is 1606 and kernel user is links 4.14.18 has been used here and firmware flash the global firmware as i shown in the flashing process don't use any other firmware then only you get similar kind of performance and uh, regarding safety net status it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm whatever you want to use as you can see those things are working fine no problem regarding that and coming to speed test here I have 100 Mbps Geo Giga Fiber connection. It's pulling up to 92, 95 Mbps, which is pretty good. No problem regarding that. Even with mobile internet connection is also fine enough. It depends upon your network and carrier aggregation support is also working fine. No problem regarding that too. And coming to DRM info, here also you get level one certification. You can watch all the OTT applications in HD resolution that's not the problem and this is the quick settings panel it will get and camera access mic access working fine location dark theme google maps are also working fine i installed that too everything is working fine as you can see google map those things are working fine. the good thing is they added this gcam just give the permissions let me clear this data where is the camera into the app settings storage and clear storage you don't need to do that whenever you open the camera for first time when you flash this room go to this select this permission and done and go to here this more settings and select here modification settings and go to auxiliary camera and turn this on by default it turned on okay by default the wide angle is id3 don't enable that just enable and change it to id2 then the wide angle camera works as good as mui camera let me show you as you can see you get here options maybe that hasn't enabled once again go to settings and select modification settings and auxiliary camera let it turn on this okay like this you get the options here as you can see 1x and 0.66 x use this 0.66 x as you can see the wide angle is also working fine go to settings and check out once again more settings modification settings auxiliary camera you need to keep this settings and turn on this auxiliary camera and select this wide angle id2 by default it would be in 3 if you use that like that only you will get blurred images so keep it in id2 then you will get very good output even in wide angle camera regarding video it's fine but as you can see in 4k full hd you can't select the fps railing for that if you want you can use arnova build gcam as i shown in the previous videos or like that you can ask me in instagram also many people are using that do share your experience with that particular arnova build gcam such that other others will understand but this is also a good thing they have pre-installed the gcam here and into settings nothing new here as you can see everything is same enough in the battery settings into the battery usage it hasn't recorded for first boot i don't know battery saver extreme battery saver is given as you can see and reduce refresh rate you can schedule it out those things are given here optimization profiles are also given and refresh rate in display also you can choose for individual apps that's present and minimum maximum i kept to 120 if you want you can change minimum to 60 but it won't make any difference on battery life and this is the colors option everything is fine here working fine no additional feature or no more customization because this is a pixel experience from into sound and vibration you get all the basic settings and even the me direct sound settings like me sound enhancer you can choose the headphone type and preset from here those things are also working fine no problem regarding that too and wallpaper sense style here you get all the android 12.1 
wallpaper so if you want you can change from here or as I shown here as you can see you can change from here too that's how it is and tried to flash the ANX camera but it it got error with magics so again I reflashed everything without magics that's fine here that's how guys ANX camera support maybe I'll try with some other ROMs also whenever it get flash and it works I will definitely show in my video if you have any idea regarding that ANX camera you can share with me I can try to implement in my videos if it available and if it works then only I can show in my videos and into gesture settings nothing new here one handed mode is given but this pixel sorry pill is so small as you can see I can't drag that one handed mode that's how it is they need to increase the pill length and pill radius those things missing here into the gesture one handed mode is turned on and uh, accessibility menu as you can see that's also working fine sound notification as you can see accessibility menu it's a handy feature to have it as you can see without touching the volume buttons and even without dragging the QS panel you can adjust them that's how it is I keep on telling these things from every Android 12 ROM it up to you to use or not that's how it is and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like and let's see the bgma gameplay what are the graphic settings mostly it's smooth plus ultra only let's see here we go sanok bootcamp and the graphic settings you can see here smooth plus ultra if you want you can keep to hd and i no extreme settings enabled if you want you can use file transfer method or gfx tool method to unlock high fps count or you can use gaming roms available with default smooth plus extreme option available here also it's good let's see how it handles and loudness you can see here i hope you guys listen to it the mic is a little bit far from the smartphone but it's fine And the game itself is always not stable enough don't complain about bgma gameplay and the overheating problems it's not overheating getting warm little bit the room temperatures are also currently going as high as 40 to 45 in some respected areas so i don't complain much about warmness or heating whatever you call overheating like that you can switch to some other battlegrounds game Let me decrease the volume. Okay. With same graphic settings, let me show you. As you can see, smooth plus ultra only. The gameplay is also fine i am not facing any lag or anything but it's how it is if you play for a long time you will definitely face lagging or even getting device warm also that those things happen if you play for continuously more than an hour okay i'll come back and regarding 33 watt fast charging let me show you let me connect and show you the 33 watt fast charging as you can see charging rapidly you can see on the screen once again let me try to show you again 
as you can see the fast charging is enabled in this rom you can definitely use that also and let me show the fingerprint unlock as you can see it's quick enough to unlock just tap gets unlock and that wobbling effect you will still get with android 12 even while using charger and even unlocking the device let me show the face unlock once as you can see it's quick enough to unlock it's not as fast as MIUI versions but still you are getting that in pixel experience ROM that's how it is and split screen those things are also working fine let me show you use some other app DRM info let's see now tap here and select split top and split down this how and if you swipe here it will get down that's how the Android 12.1 implementations. Nothing new, not a drastical change from Android 12 to 12.1, but that's how it is. This widget section, you can change the wallpapers by swiping it. That's really new thing. And lock screen also same. That's how the ROM is. And that's all guys in this video. I hope I explained everything. Thank you for watching. We'll meet you with another interesting video. Until that, keep smiling. Bye bye for now.